Good evening and welcome to Orca News. The headlines. Commerce Valley Terraces Village project is now 25% complete. President Lim Sun to give his Independence Day speech on Tuesday. And Camp Spalier has now been decommissioned. The health department hasn't reported any new cases of COVID-19 in the past month. Landova is still once again COVID-19 free. Vaccination is still ongoing for phases 1 to 4. The total doses administered are now at 4,171. Partially vaccinated individuals are now at 3,219 and the fully vaccinated are now at 952. COVID-19 alert levels are still imposed in some places in Landova. Closure is still imposed in Tudor and Commerce Valley Terraces Village. The Commerce Valley Terraces Village infrastructure project is now 25% complete. Some residential buildings and mid-rise establishments have been established. Plainsfield and CVTV Mayor Nimbo Sapia will be inaugurating the newly built establishments after the completion. The local government of CVTV is not allowing the passing or entering the village due to heavy restrictions of the coronavirus pandemic and construction. The project is expected to be finished by the end of November. President Limson to give his Independence Day speech on Tuesday in the newly established holds of Freedom Park in Commerce Valley Terraces Village. Mayor Stalin and Justin Lim Sun are expected to be present in the ceremony as well as Vice President Jenner, Plainsfield City and CVTV Mayor Sopia, and other delegates. Our live coverage of the celebration will start at 11.50 in the morning on November 9. Landova has marked its fifth anniversary of the founding Independence Day from the United States since 2016. Here's our weather for tomorrow. The Landova Meteorological Agency has issued a weather watch for gale force winds in Landova in the next 24 hours caused by an approaching low-pressure storm. Tropical Storm Wanda is still lingering in the Atlantic Ocean, southwest of Landova. According to NHC, Wanda has sustained winds of 85 km per hour and is forecast to move south and northeastward slowly due to a high pressure keeping its track relatively slow. Wanda was located 1,400 km southwest of Landova. According to the Landova Meteorological Agency, Tropical Storm Wanda is not forecasted to generate any significant or major impact in Landova in the next few days. Camp Spalier has now been decommissioned and been demolished and had been turned over to Commerce Valley Terraces Village. The local government of CVTV and Flathills Village has issued an agreement pertaining to the handover of the camp and land area to CVTV. The decommissioning of the camp is said to be the result of the abandonment of the camp. Vice President Jenner took notice and stated that he would replace the camp as soon as possible for training grounds and as a nature reserve in the country. And here's our Orca fact for today. Did you know that Orcas beach themselves in order to catch prey? 
even though being stranded out of the ocean is the worst thing for marine animals. When hunting, orcas intentionally beach themselves on land in order to catch prey. They would beach themselves to hunt for shoreline seals. They then wait for waves to help get back to sea. This practice is most commonly observed in pods around Argentina. It is believed that the habit is taught to younger orcas by the older members of the pod. Orcas very rarely become beached unintentionally. And that's it for tonight's news. This is Lewis Barnes. And this is Maude Parkinson. Reporting, Reporting for Orca, Orca News. Good evening everyone.